Hey guys, what's up? So today I have a carpenter uh, sales brochure here uh, that we're going to take a look at. This would be from the uh, early 80s. Um, so on the front here we've got a carpenter, looks to be either a GMC or Chevy, um, uh, sitting there picking up kids I guess. Um, and there's a little house in the background and then we have a little uh, table of contents down here at the bottom. Um, so let's go ahead and open the first page. So on the front page we have this Carpenter, uh, which is pretty much the same thing that was on the front. Um, Carpenter Chevy, I think, because that's what the fender kind of looks like. Um, so, kind of got a mountain, you got a mountain in the background and then, um, you've got the different options of how to order the windshield here. And then on this page it says carpenter buses have an extra margin of safety and reliability. And then there's some um, literature there. I'm not sure if you can really see that or not, but you can pause to read it. Um, so again, this is an older carpenter. It's got the four ways and the slanted lights. You've got the, uh, well on this one it's actually got rounded uh, lenses. But if you look on the one that's on the front page, you have the um, squared uh, lenses, which is interesting. Um, if we flip the page, we have uh, this cutaway of a carpenter uh, with another GMC slash Chevy kind of front end. Um, let's see, carpenter, welded framework, heavier, stronger, safer. Um, there's, again, if you want to pause to read, you can. Um, there's the uh, rear cab of the bus. It's got the body structure. And with all of the brochures I look at, um, they usually have uh, something to do with the uh, steel gauges, just to show you, you know, what the steel is. Um, and there's a little diagram. You can see the different colors, and there's the coating for it. Um, and then you can kind of see there's a picture of a guy uh, welding on a bus. Um, so that's interesting, and then you've got, you know, down here the bumper and all this little, uh, stuff talking about the rub rails and, um, just the safety features that the carpenter has. On the next page, we've got the, uh, underside of a body, uh, flipped upside down. Um, and this is just like, uh, how they get everything ready on the bottom, so the skirts would go along here, um, and then the wheel well and everything, and then eventually it'll be flipped and then sent down the line. Um, I'm not sure what this is. It's something... I don't know what these pictures are for, but um, it, it's something uh, to do with the how the frame is built. And then you've got some stuff down here. Here's the... Um, what the body looks like. Uh, the skeleton. There's more of that. There's the uh, roof. Which it looks like the roof is made separately and then put on the bus. Um, and it's not like, you know, roof bow, roof bow, roof bow. And then sheeting, it looks to be connected to the bus itself at a later point. There's a body drop. This is actually, this picture is, um, I don't know if you've seen it before, but it's actually out there. Like it's not something I haven't seen before. Um, but yeah. Uh, next page, we've just got options on uh, what you can order, how you can order the doors, um, stuff like that. There's that carpenter um, with the rounded lights again. Uh, we've got a, a wheelchair lift um, and then an exit window. Uh, and now this just goes into seating um, and it just shows you what kind of seats, you know, you can order your carpenter with. Uh, and then this is the heater, um, heating system, um, so that's cool, uh, let's see here, uh, this is for, uh, I want to say they still called it the Corsair at this point, I'm not sure though, um, which is Carpenter's rear engine, it's kind of got the older Carpenter, uh, roof cap up front if you look at it, but, um, Anyways, uh, there's the uh, multi-function version of it, um, and you can see, again, I'll lift that up so there's no glare. It's just showing you the structure and the steel gauges and the seats that you can order and stuff like that. 
Um, and then let's see what's on the next page. Uh, the Cadet, which I actually have some brochures of Cadets that came with this to show you. Um, but pretty much just a picture of the Cadet, and again with the steel gauges and stuff like that, and all the options you could order it with, like a handy bus. And then this is just all the different um, things you could order on a bus. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty cool. And then there's all kinds of options listed here. Um, and then on the back you have some artwork of carpenters doing different things um, as uh, acti or multi-function buses. I don't really want to call them activity buses. But yeah, so that's the carpenter uh, brochure for like everything. Uh, this was attached along with it. Uh, I got two different little handouts of the cadet uh, for the multi-purpose you know, version. Um, and the lettering, or the wording here says the same thing, so if you want to pause it to read it, you can. But on the back, it just shows you, um, you know, how you can order the bus setup-wise and stuff like that. Um, and then it's the same thing on the other one, just a different, uh, bus. But, uh, see, same thing. Um, and then I got this, which this is like a Cadet CV, uh, brochure for the school and... Uh, activity version. And you can see this and this are the same ones that are on the front of those uh, single sheets. Um, Carpenter Cadet, the little fella that does a big job. Um, so this is just like a one, two page really of the Carpenter Cadet. It's pretty much the same thing that was in the brochure that we just looked at. Um, there's the sizes I guess you could order it in. Um, but it's pretty much the same thing as the brochure. It's just, you know, more of a handout. Um, so that way if somebody was looking for just the cadet, they could have this. Um, and uh, again, steel gauges and all the features and stuff that come with the bus. So um, while we're on the topic of Carpenter, I don't really have any Carpenter emblems because for the most part, Carpenter used um, decals. But I do have this Carpenter build plate from one of the buses at the junkyard and you can see uh, the date is 3-9-83 and March 9th is actually my birthday so I just found that kind of interesting and that's why I wanted to get it because you know it's pretty cool so I'll include a picture of the uh, bus that this came off of Um, but yeah, so thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Tell me what you think um, And uh, yeah, what carpenter would you like to have purchased? Um, if you would even purchase a carpenter um, I know they had the whole roof uh, bow issue with the welds where they would roll over and the whole bus would pretty much flatten um, I rode 21 which was a carpenter and I rode uh, some of our crown by carpenters we used to have. I'll put some pictures in so you guys can see. So here's 21. Uh, it was a 1995. And then the next one is 80, which was a 1996. And I rode this one as a spare a few times. The next one is 87. I rode it as a spare a few times. And then uh, the last one is 88, which I never got to ride, but I had been on it a few times. So, you know, I don't have a problem with carpenters. Um, granted, I never rolled over in one, so can't really say that, you know, it wouldn't be against that. But yeah, I'm going to shut up now because I'm just going on. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tell me what you think. And um, yeah, I got some upcoming videos, uh, some model reviews coming up and some other stuff. So look for that. Thanks for watching. Bye.